popping people, Cobra Soccer. Back with you guys in that video. Your first time finding my channel or anything. You guys love movie reviews, TV show stuff. You guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also, the video. Yes, today I'll be going through and talking about get my review of the new Mary J. Blige My Life documentary coming on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think June 25th. I got to see it a couple of days early, so. Yeah, you know, uh, but we'll talk about all that stuff right after this. Probably you, we got a problem, 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 it's probably you, yeah, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem. So, yeah, I got to, uh, get an early screening of the, uh, little my life thing that just, that just came out, um, or, like I said, it's coming out, I don't know when you guys are gonna see this, but, um, yeah, the new My Life right here. So now I want to go ahead and talk about it. And as me talking about it, you're getting the perspective of someone that's only knew Mary J. Blige from a couple of songs and uh, her appearance on um, Power. Get inside, Zeke. Oh. 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 Can't handle himself. And you too valuable to the family. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't... But I already knew Mary J. Blige, Mary J. Blige. You know, I knew the person, but I didn't know too much about her backstory. And let me tell y'all, this new little My Life documentary tells you everything you need to know about her backstory. Now, I was talking to a couple of people that had seen this before and are huge Mary J. Blige fans, stuff like that. And what they were telling me is that, look, it's nothing new here. It's just, if you're a huge fan of her, then it ain't, you know what I'm saying? You already know what to expect from this. But as someone that they didn't, like I said, knew her from acting, I know she's a musical legend. I already knew that. I already knew a lot of her songs too. But I didn't know about her backstory. This gave me some new insights to her. So, first thing I want to talk about with her, I just wrote down my notes. It's literally like, I did not know, like, if you're asking me, I did not know that Mary J. Blythe literally came from, like, like, she came from literally the projects. I ne If you ask me, I never knew that about her. Like, I never knew she came from the projects. I never knew she came from, like, um, low income, uh, like a low income family. Literally, she was, like, she was fighting for her mother and fighting for her family while she's in the studio. So she had to make sure that she made it because of the fact that her family was so poor and stuff like that. So that was... That was something that I'd say, like I said, I never, I never knew that about her life. Like I never, I never knew she had to fight to get to where she was at like that, you know? Um, and I'm, and I'm glad they called it projects and not the other words. So I was glad they said that, but I, but I was like, I never, why that was crazy. I never knew, I never knew that about Mary J. Blige. Like I never, I never knew that. Um, now another thing I want to say in the film, I they don't, I don't know if they really showed in the trailer that much. So I can't really give you guys a visual. A representation of exactly what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, I don't think they showed in the trailer at all. But um, literally, there's some points um, in the film where Mary J. Blige is describing a lot of things that happen in her life, but she does it through like animation. And I thought the animation was really good in the documentary. Um, I guess I can't really show you guys. I don't think. I don't think. Looking the trailer, there wasn't really any animation in the trailer. Yeah, they didn't really show it in the trailer. But you'll see the animation I'm talking about when, if you guys see the documentary. Um, I thought it was really good in the film. Like, it does a really good job of showcasing what Mary J. Blige is talking about in that exact, my, in that exact moment. There's, like, I think maybe five of them, five or six of the animations, maybe more, um, that they show. And all of them, like, are showing something that happened her, in her life. And that maybe she can't fully show herself, so she has to deal with the animation. I thought the animation in the film was amazing. I thought it, I thought the documentary was really good. Now, another thing I want, I want to do and talk about is I was watching this and I'm like, dang, I really want to go to a Mary J. Blige concert. Like, you know, I, I, they, they be jamming at these Mary J. Blige concerts, especially in the film, in the documentary. Like, I didn't know they be bumping like that at Mary J. I was like, hold on. I said, let me go ahead and grab a ticket to a Mary J. Blige concert, even though I think she's done with music. I don't know. But, um, yeah, like, the, how they showed the concerts and stuff like that, like, the behind the scenes in the concerts, I was like, yo, this really works. And, like, I've never been to a Mary J. Blige concert before. Like, I've been to a whole bunch of concerts, but I've never been to her concert before. And, like, just to see, like, how her concerts are in the documentary, I'm like, man, I've been missing out, you know? Um, but, yeah, I really liked how they, how they did that. Now, another thing I'm going to talk about, um... Something else I didn't know. There's this song that actually it's the title of the documentary, but I'm gonna play a little bit of it real quick. Um, but it's a song right here from Mary J. Blige called 
um, my life. When you're feeling down, you should never fake it. Yeah, when I'm listening to that song, and actually they played the song in the documentary, I did not know that song had such a dark, like, like a meaning behind it like she like she's really describing like her demons and stuff she's going through literally in this song i did not i did not know that i actually i'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all i never heard the song <laughs> until i listened to it in the documentary and now i've been like playing it for a little bit and i was like holy crap you know this is a really like i listened to it it's a really good song but i did not know that this song was like like her demons and she was fighting through so much stuff while she was writing this song so that was really cool that they actually showed in the uh in the documentary now probably if you're big fans of mary j blige you already know about this type of thing so i'm pretty sure this this is my life song y'all probably already know what it was about um and how dark that song actually was but like i said me that didn't know too much i knew about mary j blige but i didn't know too 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 much about her but to know that this song was so dark to her was like okay you know something it's something new here um now another thing that's on documentary which it's a documentary so they're gonna have to show it like i said they they showed her whenever she was um in the projects because like i said i didn't know that she her her life was like this bad growing up but uh i think they do a really good job of like showing how mary j blige actually became a singer you know not just oh this is her life after the fact no let's show how she actually got into the game i didn't even know diddy was a part of it you know i i knew diddy was a part of a notorious big actually my life too um but uh notorious i mean big and all these other artists but i never knew that freaking Didi also at the same time helped Mary J. Blige too. Now y'all probably while well, I'm flaming the conversation, Cobra, you didn't know all this stuff? No, I don't. I didn't. But that's why I'm glad I watched the documentary so I now I can learn about this type of stuff. But yeah, Diddy a real one, man. Like just to see what Diddy did in his documentary. Yeah, he's a he's a real one. That that um he was a big forefront in her career. So yeah, I did like that. Um there's also some points in the documentary. I don't want to give too many spoilers away. But um, I feel like that there was some there's some parts where she was like, like especially when she was younger and she was in the studio, she was like, look, I didn't want to smile around nobody, you know, I didn't want people to see that I was happy or think that I was happy, and I was like, yo, that is really dark. Like I like she grew up in the project, and for her to be like, I don't want to smile around nobody, yo, that is that was dark to me. I was like, god damn. Um. And like I said, to see how hard she worked to get, cause she had to get her mom out of the project. She had to get her whole entire family out the projects. And just to see that how hard she went in the studio. Cause they show it, they show you um, like old, old clips of her in the studio working. And just to see like the behind the scenes of that and be like, yeah, she was like, yeah, I had to go that hard to get our family out. So yeah, man, like, also, there's a, there's a couple parts I like in here. I don't know if I can show you guys because they're probably not in the documentary like that. You got to, like, watch the film, watch it, or watch the documentary, watch it to see exactly what I'm talking about. But there's some points in here where she's, like, singing her old songs. And I was like, yo, let me go find out what song she's singing. You know? Like, it's... Man, it really shows you how great Mary J. Blige actually is. Like I said, I know Mary J. Blige is a legend. But I did not know the backstory behind uh, Mary J. Blige. So, yeah, this documentary definitely opened my eyes. I would definitely say to check this out. I guess, I guess somebody told me, if you're a huge fan of Mary J. Blige, it's going to be nothing new, okay? But if you're someone that ha that you know, maybe watch Power or um, you're like me that, didn't, that knew about her but didn't know too much about her life, I would definitely say check this out. It's about an hour and a half. It's not even too long. And it's very, it's paced very quickly. It gets through a lot of things, you know. So I would definitely say go watch this. Uh, like I said, not even, it's not even too long for y'all, man. It don't, it don't take up too much amount of time. I just an hour and a half to learn some things you might not have known about Mary J. Black. So I would definitely say check this out. It's definitely worth the watch. Um, I'm probably when it comes out gonna end up probably watching it again. Um, okay, maybe there's a couple of things I might have missed here and there, but I would definitely say, yeah. Mary J. Blige is definitely a queen. Um, go check out this documentary. Uh, and let me know you got thoughts on this down below, man. Yeah, this...
she's a grinder, man. Hey, y'all first time finding my channel. You guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Off that video. Tell me your thoughts, complaint, criticism, stuff down, down below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. My life, my life, my life, my life in the sunshine.